We are now ready to do um, the final part of the selection with, uh, according to the first video, with the, the selection on the top of the, the shank using the wand tool, which is more appropriate to use as a selection tool if you want to get the details. Not very easy to use, especially for selecting the entire ring, but for this specific purpose it was a useful tool. So now I'm going to do the rest of the selection and let's hope I can do it fast. So this, there will be just two videos. Let's see if I can do it this one in 10 minutes. Now we are going to continue doing the selection on the bottom of the head of the ring. So let's go back to the wand tool again. Uh, I'll press uh, the W key to bring up the wand tool. So it, it selected pretty well in this bottom part because there was a, a visible edge and a piece. So the one tool works pretty well on a situation like that. So now let's go back to the lasso selection tool by pressing the arrow key. Go back to the lasso now. I'll press Alt and now I will remove. It's the bottom part of the selection that I don't need. So I'm gonna now I'm gonna press shift to add this part. So here we are. So now I can press uh, control C, control V, and now I have uh, all those this uh, all the parts of the ring now they now they are now object all, all the selections are now objects so now I'm going to press control E merge the this object so now I'm ready to do the rest of the selection by hand so now uh, in order for me to turn this into a selection I press and hold the control key and then I click on the icon of the layer, then uh, everything on the layer here becomes uh, a selection. So now go back here, hide this, and uh, let me finish the selection of the head ring. Press Alt key, roll the wheel on the mouse to zoom in. So now let me finish by pressing Shift at the selection looks like uh, I should have added this point here continue here this part of the selection since it is doesn't have a, a lot of mule grains it's not a big deal to select by hand And uh, we have to re remember that we are zooming in into the piece, so we don't have to be very, very detailed on our selection because um, when the final image is reduced in size to go to the site, uh, some of the detail will be gone. You know. But uh, it's always good to do a good selection. There we go. Almost done. There were some uh, fibers that I couldn't see while I was taking pictures that I now, on the selection, I remove. On the cam when I look on the camera, I don't see the, those small fibers. I only see them when I'm editing the image. So here's the time to remove those uh, stray fibers. So I have the selection of all the parts of the ring that have a sharp edge. 
more selected. Let me just go back to zoom here using the alt key and the wheel mouse wheel. Press shift to add to the selection. Uh, let's go back here. Let me finish this because it was part of the ring that was um, had a sharp edge. Here on, from here on, the ring gets pretty. And a little bit here too, a little closer. But from here on, the ring gets uh, has a very soft edge. So we're gonna do it. the selection, the bottom part of the ring as a separate selection. Let me go here. I think I should put a, press Alt and remove a little bit of the shank from here. So here we are. So now I have everything here. Control zero. I zoomed out. So now uh, that I have the entire selection, I can uh, select. Uh, let's press Control Shift I to invert the selection. And just zoom in a little bit here before I go to the tool. So now I'll go to right click the fine edge. As you can see the edges are very sharp, which is okay, but even on the part where the edges are supposed to, f to be sharp, they shouldn't be this sharp. Well, I usually bring the sharpness down to 2%, 2 pixels. I have 2 pixels for this size of image that I've been working on. No? 2% is okay. But also increase the contrast a little bit. The selection now looks better. So now it's time to control zero to zoom out and control shift I to bring the selection back the way it was before I inverted the selection. Now I press delete to delete the the background. So now control D to remove the, the selection. So now Alt wheel, mouse wheel, you zoom in. Now I'm gonna do a hand selection of the bottom part. Apple shift. Let's start the, doing the selection here. See how much I can get on this video. On the bottom part, since the edges are going to be very soft, I don't have to be very very careful with the details. After all, there are no details to be very careful with. So, selection on the bottom of the shank is pretty easy compared to the rest of the ring, which I have to be much more careful. So, go here, Let's press um, the space key drag and bring the hand tool to drag the image to the side now shift and then continue the selection on the outside Yeah, well now we're going to do the final part of the selection in the next video.